Thank you. Right now, hundreds of people are at Roswell Park for the Tree of Hope celebration. Here right now is a live look as we are just over a half hour away from watching the lighting right here on Channel 2. Inside the facility, there is progress being made every day in the fight against cancer. Two on your side's Adam Benini shows us how a personalized approach is helping patients beat the odds. When you hear the word cancer, you're just like devastated. Like it kind of is like a blur, like it can't be me. I, I remember the day as if it was yesterday. That was back in 2004. Cheryl Reinhardt was just 48 years old, diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer. The other establishment said, well, we'll give you to Roswell. We don't give you much hope. And I came here and the situation was totally different. It was the first time she met Dr. Kunlio Dunsing, who is now Roswell's deputy director. A patient with stage four ovarian cancer, <clears throat> the reality is the prognosis is very poor. Cheryl had surgery and underwent chemotherapy. But on top of that, we had just started a clinical trial that was testing for the first time the ability to induce immune responses against ovarian cancer. Immunotherapy, as it's now commonly known. We're actually using the, the, the body's own defenses. Today at Roswell, there are more than 60 clinical trials ongoing, targeting nearly all types of cancer. Innovative vaccines, DNA-based analysis to decide on individual treatment, and since last year's Tree of Hope, a new study that involves reprogramming immune cells to attack cancer. And pull all of that together, then you have a very powerful strategy to fight cancer with potential for cure. Tremendous progress that so many have benefited from including Cheryl Reinhardt when her cancer returned in 2012 and 2014. The drug therapy we gave you, the, it, the cancer's gone. And I was like, no surgery, no chemo. You be proud of yourself. Public support has fueled much of that hope and progress, which is why you'll see Cheryl taking part in the ride for Roswell each and every year, and why nights like this mean so much. When you see the Tree of Hope light up, it lights me up because I see all the people and we're all in the same boat. I shouldn't be here, but because of them, I am. To tell the story of what this night is all about. What a positive and encouraging story, Adam. Thank you very much. And we're so blessed to have Roswell here. Right here. In our community. I know. And events all year round, the Ride for Roswell. Yep. does so much and so many people help. That's right. Yeah. And uh, there's great things going on with curing cancer. So hopefully they'll continue to do all that research. And right now we're going to.